So I picked up a new solid state drive external. This one's actually possibly gonna be used for my iPad as we are doing some traveling and I think I figured out a way to be able to use my iPad, which is an iPad Air 3 with a lightning adapter with an external hard drive and an SD card reader so that I can actually do backups of my SD cards while traveling. But I didn't have any portable storage solution that I could bring with me because most things are physically attached to my computers here and I didn't want to bring them because I got them raided and all kinds of whatevers. Doesn't matter. What matters is I needed something that was fairly inexpensive and hopefully would work. So I ended up buying this. Now I'm just going to show you. I actually bought it at Best Buy, but I did buy it when it was on sale and they had a crazy sale on it and it was at 65 bucks, I think it was Canadian, which is why I kind of was like, hmm, yeah, okay, that's worth it. Even though, even though, if you look here real quick, look at the ratings, three and a half star, not great ratings. So we're gonna look at those ratings and then we're gonna check out what's in this box and do a speed test. Yeah, let's do that, shall we? That's coming up. This drive again is on Best Buy here. Uh, which which is great what you will see that it does have like I get this $89 here so if I click on this what does this say yeah so this takes me to an Amazon site if I want to get it on Amazon but what I could only find on Amazon unless you went to the pro version was the 240 gig for 90 bucks that price I'd spend even a little bit more and either go to the t5 drives or 129 dollars for this one the 512 gig or lexar does have a pro version which supposedly is uh, better and you can go there but none of our concern this is what i have right now so here it is what do these reviews say why are they not doing great i purchased this back in may the ssd i received has a different model number okay that's a little weird not the same model as advertised xfat format used made in china i did inquire they sent a few pictures model number drive model number in the outside box so that sounds a little bit more like i'm not sure maybe a best buy issue not a drive issue uh product may be good but very poor customer service so again not a drive issue this is a Best Buy issue. And last, we get a four star, so that's a little better. Bought this about a month ago, completely happy with it. Not sure why you're only giving it a four star then. So the hopes are, based on these kind of reviews, that for the fact that I got it for 65 bucks, this hopefully will be a killer deal. Not that you guys are gonna be able to find it for 65 bucks, and I apologize, that's, I'm rubbing it in. I get it, I'm rubbing it in. But let's see how it, how it performs and let's see if it actually does what it says it should do. On the box here, so this is the box, Lexar, right? 512 gig, SL100, portable solid state, USB 3.1, up to, up to 550 megabits transfer, so that's, that's their read, 400 megabits write, so those are a little slower than the T5s, not much. I usually get mid 400s-ish for writes on the T5s, and about 550, that's about right for the reads. Four times faster than external hard drives, and that's standard drives. And that makes sense because usually they're about 100. Uh, system requirements, Mac, Windows, needs a standard USB port. This package contains drive. This is, again, one of the things that I like about the T5. I'm gonna just show you this. I'm gonna crack this open, right? Crack it open. So the T5 drives, and I'm gonna compare that because I have two of those, and I'm, I'm actually very happy with those T5 drives, is, they come with like all the cables. They're like, hey, what do you have for a computer? Do you have USB A ports? Do you have USB C ports? Because we're gonna give you we're gonna give you both cables, which is great because I actually want a USB C cable, but I have a feeling I'm not gonna get that in here. So open this up. This is what's in it. Yeah. So first off, you get a really small cable. So we'll just put this over here somewhere. You get a small, tiny cable. Look out! Like that's not very long, which isn't crazy bad but that's not very long enough i wish that was a usb-c usb-c cable and here is i think that may be even smaller actually than the t5 drive that's really tiny that's almost like credit card size i don't know how to get it out of this paper though first skill testing question 
Can you unwrap it? And I don't know if it can. All right, there we go. There we go. It's happening. I, I win. Okay, so build qual. This this is a nice looking little drive actually. Look at that nice little. Pshing. You see that? That's nice. Lexar. There you go. Everything there. Yeah, that's a good looking drive. I'm guessing if these are like, oh, something's not right with the drive. It was there was an issue with Best Buy and them or. I, I don't know because when you do look at the Amazon site for instance it only got one rating but it's full five stars you know it is what it is now just so you guys can see if you're interested and I might put a link down below if you are uh, if you click up here this is the Lexar professional SL 100 Pro supposedly like look at this up to 950 megabits way faster that's that's actually really good prices 500 gigs is 80 bucks right now was this one terabyte 182 yeah that's all right for their pro version since i can't connect this to my computer straight because i don't have a usb-c cable i got an adapter so what we're going to do is we're going to plug this into my computer so and we are going to plug this in and run a quick speed test see what this drive is doing it looks nice with this computer because it's space great it's all about appearances my friend all about appearances see this thing pop up there it is, Lexar. We'll just do a quick info on it just to see. So, XFAT 512.09 capacity. Excellent. All right, let's bring it up. Black Magic. This is what we're looking for. And we're looking for good sustained speeds for both write and reading. Mostly writing for me. All right, so file. We'll select. We're going to the Lexar. Open that up. And we're doing this, a mid level stress test. So, three gigs. Perfect. And here we go. Um, well, that's not right. What's happening here? That's uh, a little bit on the slow side. I'm thinking yeah, that's not, what is this? 40. It's not even standard hard drive speed. All right. Let's, uh, let's, let's check this out because that's not right. Let's do this. Let's do a, let's do an erase just to make sure. Let's do a, an erase on this drive. Lexar X fat. Yep. Okie dokie. Pop, pop, pop. Excellent. I'm going to eject it. I'm going to plug it into a different port on here just to see maybe. There it is. Back again. Because 40 is not, it's not good. Right? 40 is not good. Black magic. File. Select target. Lexar. Oh, there's, that's better. I don't know what was going on. There we go. Strange, hey? 415. So that's good. Read. 420. So not quite getting that 500 that they said with the read, but we are actually getting higher on the right. So we're actually getting fast, almost identical. About 415, 420, right? We're getting about the same read. So that's plenty. And for the fact that I'm gonna be using this primarily with my iPad for copying SD cards, you know, the bottleneck's gonna be the SD card for sure if I can get this to work. I'm gonna actually put up a video for you guys once I get the two pieces that I need to be able to plug like external stuff into a lightning based iPhone or iPad because one of the cool features that iOS 13 brought to them was being able to plug in external devices. But the lightning port itself doesn't supply enough power to be able to do that. Now the iPad Pro does because it's USB-C but lightning has issues. So uh, I think I figured out how to do this and I bought a few little pieces and I'll do a video once those all come to check to make sure it's working before I head out. All right guys, I'm gonna leave you there. There's your, there's your final, right? There's your final speeds. You know, you're getting 400-ish all the time, right? I'll well, slow down a little bit there and 400. All right, guys, I'm going to put a link down below if you guys are interested. Uh, I'm going to put one to the Amazon site for the pro version of this as well. And just so you guys know, right, do a speed test when you buy a drive because sometimes there may be an issue. I, for some reason, just formatting the drive sped me up. So sometimes that's that's a concern. All right, guys, link down below if you're interested. And uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Lexar SL100. Yeah, it's good. It's good and it looks pretty. All right guys, later.